Welcome back with community and police relations heightened following the death of George Floyd. The Williamson police chief says he has always focused on sharpening his officers critical thinking and de-escalating skills. Tonight he had an officer walk us through the training. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy is live for us with a look at how this works. Amber. Yes, Cody. So the chief says that in these fast moving situations, seconds matter. And he says that his officers knowing how to think critically and to know how to de-escalate is just as important as how to you has knowing how to use every tool that they have on their belts. These situations were in real time, sometimes with limited information heading into the scene, showing how in seconds these situations can take a turn for the worst. This training for the Williamson Police Department includes the officer doing everything they would leading up to the critical moments when they have to decide if they have time to use de-escalation tactics before using deadly force. Yeah, it's, it's a tool in your tool belt. It's not just your gun and your baton and your taser and your spray and those kind of things. Using your critical thinking to de-escalation training is another tool. Chief Tony Taylor says that those skills are just as vital as anything the officers carry, especially when they are dealing with the mentally ill, like in this simulation involving a mentally ill man who has a chainsaw. Chief says no matter how long it takes, if their life or the lives of others aren't in danger, his officers know that they can take the time they need to bring that person in safely. And one of the things that we like to tell the guys is you're going to have to take as long as you can take to defuse that situation. So we don't have to be in a hurry. We can take critical thinking. Is this something that I really need to use daily force or can I take an opportunity to de-escalate this? Because sometimes we have to be social workers, mental health workers, and you know, and, and those kind of things. There are a lot of things that we can do and we're going to have to work together with mental health and work with uh, social services and all. And there are some things that we have to do uh, as, as an overall. Uh, but it is a component of it, and what we want to do is we want to do our part. And he says community policing is a mindset that his officers must adapt so they can have the best possible outcomes while serving their community in those tough situations. Reporting live in Greenville, Amber Worthy for the 10 o'clock news.